Each year, Luke Bryant's going to exit, and it's really unfortunate because he threw a fantastic game here. He's going to go over to first base, and we'll take a look at the changes, but that call to the bullpen brought to you by Ashland's Linway Restaurant. Quality food and service since 1951. Spectacular outing, really, for Luke Bryant today. He, he looked great, uh, and, and not much you can do. Looks like Tyler Holt, I yep. think, is actually yep. going to come in and take over on the mound in a 2-1 to -one ball game, and this is where you want to try to keep it. Well, I'll tell you, I didn't see Holt getting loose down there. It was Owen Shade the whole time. He was earlier, according to Dr. Bunce. I didn't see that. Thanks, Larry. Yep. So Tyler Holt will come on. Luke Bryant going to head out to right field, and everything else will stay status quo for the Arrows now, finding themselves down 2-1 here in the top of the eighth with one out. Took me a few games in to figure out and be back here to see that the Arrows now using the electronic communication from the dugout to the Catcher Ethan Bunce, which is the newer kind of advancement here, and hopefully it, it's you know a couple of reasons. It's it's to speed up the game, Chris, yep. but it's also to avoid sign stealing on pitches because <laughs> you played There's enough. No trash cans here. You've coached enough. Well, it's also pretty easy sometimes <laughs> to pick up steal, uh, pick up you know fastball, curveball, off speed, you know. And then, you know, back when I was playing, it was, you know, if, uh, if, we, if we figured out your numbers, it was like, all right, if they called, if the third base or the first base coach called your last name, it was a breaking ball. And if he called your first name, you know, fastball's coming. Mm -hmm. You could do that for a little bit until they figured out they had you. But, you know, I once called, you know, somebody was trying to steal ours and they got one. And I told the guy, I'm, I shouldn't say this, but I'm going to. <laughs> I told, I walked over to the dugout. The beep button. I walked over to the dugout. I said, listen, you do that one more time and somebody's getting it. <laughs> and I walked away. And he did it. Somebody got it. That's baseball rules take care of themselves. They do. And they, you know, you can police yourself a little bit like that. It, 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 I always is a running joke with some of my friends when I coached about that's Bush is what I used to always say. Well, that's Bush. It that means that's Bush League, yep. which means, you know, that's not stuff that we do in a classy program we don't teach in a classy that. organization. And we don't do that. Here we go. Second and third. Tyler Holt in a tough spot. Now with the arrows down one here in extra innings. Nolo Bolin, the catcher for the Quakers, 0 for 3 on the day. Infield in, they have not decided to put him on and set a force up everywhere. Runner at second base is going to have a huge lead, Brandon. Colts first offering on the outside part of the play, strike one. It's always strike one is so, that first pitch is so critical, right? But this is the bigger one, really. Maddox always talked about this one being a, a huge pitch. That one's just too far outside now, and 1-1 one, one the count on Bolin. Pressure's off right now if you're new Philly and you're bowling, so that makes it a little easier to dig in. Swung through that offering, 1-2 and two the count now on the catcher. High heat for T. Holt. Holt's really increased his velocity. Last year we saw him, Brandon, and... I would say he's probably put eight or nine mile an hour on that heater. Some of that's just growing into your body and becoming a young man. Some of that is just work. That's tough down. play, Franz. Yeah, that one's going to get a run in on that sack fly. Franz with a really good job. Ethan would have had a throw at third base, but unfortunately that ball was just too high to be cut, and we had a dead meat runner at third base there. But unfortunately now two outs for the Arrows, two runs crossed in this half inning, and a man at third base, and Gavin Blake doing the pitching now at the plate. Got to know yourself, right? You got to know yourself in center field. Michael Franz, nice job of, of tracking that one down in the gap, but you got to know also, hey, I, I'm not going to have a play at the plate on this, right? I, I, and, and so they're appealing and, and looking over to third to see if he left early, but that's a once in a blue moon sort of play that you might get that even if he did leave early. But what I'm saying is, Chris, is right there now, instead, you, you've got a man on third. Minor thing, but you, you'd rather that guy be on second base. If you if you make if you oh, get the yeah. play and you make the throw to third base, he holds up. Yeah. Now a pass ball, wild pitch. Now you're down four one. Or yeah, I mean, even just an infield single right. or an air I, yeah. in the infield. Like there's all kinds of more ways. We've talked about it all the time. How that opens up an avenue, but it's three to one right now. Arrows will still get another shot here in the bottom of the eighth, but you want to hold them here, of course. Just oh. high to Blake now one and one. Holt's offering. Breaking ball, nice one. 
Really good spinner pitch there. Now ahead in the count, one and two. Climb the ladder. Fastball here. Tell you what, Blake is just bailing out of that batter's box there every pitch. You mean Balake? Uh, there's a lot of words to use. Hey, hey Ron. <laughs> Deuce is wild here. 2-2 two, two count, two outs. Slowed it down. A little slow breaking ball on that one, and that brings it full. Full count, two outs. Keaton Fazel on deck. Three to one. Quaker lead. Strike three. Got him. Great pitch. Inning over, but 